Hi, it's Dr. Centeno. And what about walking and CCI? Meaning, should you be walking a lot if you've got craniocervical instability? And for most CCI patients who are mid to higher level functioning, the answer is yes. Walking is a great exercise to stimulate the upper neck muscles. It's obviously a great way to try to keep your cardiovascular system in some state of readiness and fitness. Um, so walking in general is good for CCI patients in my experience. Now, if you're very low level and it's hard to get out of bed at all, then walking is not going to be an option for you. I have an entire rehab series that I'll link after this video that goes into uh, how you rehab from CCI. But walking and CCI in general is great. So I would start with, let's say, a couple thousand steps and then see if you can go up from there. Uh, my more functional craniocervical instability or CCI patients tend to walk between uh, 10 and 20,000 steps a day. Certainly getting to that 10,000 uh, steps a day level is pretty darn good. And that will really help keep the doctor away, if you will, that'll really help to keep things reasonably fit uh, while you rehab other parts of your body. So walking in CCI is a thumbs up for most patients. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.